Kevin Kiermeyer is on the IL and we've got a major league debut coming tonight. Addison Barger is now officially a Blue Jay. Speaking of new guys well we've seen him a couple of times before but Yariel Rodriguez is on the mound ready to make his third major league start here in Kansas City tonight. All to face Alec Marsh who faced the Blue Jays last year as a bulk reliever and gave up just one run over four innings. Yep, Alec Marsh is in a nice little groove right now. Let's just hope it continues. And George Springer, with a big smile on his face, steps in, and he had three hits last night. Chopped to Bobby Witt Jr., who throws on the run in time. Probably nobody woke up this morning wanting to have a good game tonight more than Vladdy. Uh, the error that led to three unearned runs and had a rough night at the plate as well. And a swing and a miss. So a slider, and boy, Guerrero looked bad on that pitch. Bo shut the batter. Ten runs battered in and ground ball to Benny at first base. Pitcher covers. Marsh takes the throw. It's a very easy one, two, three first inning. These Royals have never seen Yariel Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez is making his third start in the big leagues, and he's off to a good start, and he's starting to build up his pitch count. 83 pitches last time. First pitch swinging. Michael Garcia with a fly ball to center. Bobby with one of the big hits last night. And Bobby's on with a one out walk. Now you got to deal with the base stealing threat. Pasquantino with 253 hitter. And there goes Bobby, and he got a big jump. That ball's going to end up at center field, and he's going to end up at third base. He'll take the walk, and that's back to back walks. And now the Royals have runners first and third with just one out. And now he's got to deal with Salvador Perez. Line base hit left field. Or hit it hard to the left side. Witt can jog home, and it is one to nothing, Royals. Salvador Perez, RBI number 23. Has he ever looked better at the plate? That is a fair ball. There's one. And across the diamond, not in time, but a good play by Ernie Clement to force the lead runner on a bit of a tricky play. A couple of looks back at Perez, and then this one is popped up. Drifting back Biggio, he is there in plenty of time and will make the catch to end the inning. Run on, nobody out for Jay's catcher, Danny Jensen. And now there goes Varsho, and he had a good break, but it's popped up. And Bobby Wood Jr. had it pop out of his glove, but he stayed with it. Yeah, hey, nice awareness, okay? It hit in the heel of his glove, and he didn't give up on it. Hit well into deep right center field. And Renfro runs it down. That was a good read and a great angle for Renfro. Varsho again got a big break. But there's a two hopper back to Marsh. And that ends the inning and nothing comes of the leadoff walk. And now Kyle Isbell. Kyle hitting 188. Isbell slices it to left field and Barger got a bad break <laughs> and it's over his head. Well, Isbell is following HUD's scouting report. <laughs> Hit it to left field. That's what I'm saying. And Barger making his big league debut has never in his life, going back to Little League, played left field. So now, Michael Garcia. And it will turn into a run. Yeah, and that one will be tough on the rookie out in left field, giving up that fly ball, and then the next batter drives him in. This is the first plate appearance in Addison Barger's major league career. As his parents look on, this is a big moment for them. And he lifts this one to deep center field. But the wrong ballpark. Two outs back to the top of the lineup in George Springer. This is lined down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Good contact for George Springer, and he is into second with a two out double. His first extra base hit since April the 6th. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vinny Pasquantino toward the tarp. And he's got it. Here, bottom three, already two to nothing Royals, a run in each of the first and the second. Little hesitation in the delivery there. This one to left field. Barger back towards the wall. He jumps and he caught it. Addison Barger makes a leaping catch up against the wall. Well, we told you he's a determined young man. <laughs> he made up his mind he's going to catch this one. And he misplayed Isbell's fly ball in the second inning, but he makes up for it with a terrific catch to begin the bottom of the third. Still runner on first with one out for Danny Jansen. Jansen lines one into center field, a solid base hit. So two on with one out for the DH tonight. Daniel Vogelback. 
Vogel back smacks it high in the air. Deep left center field. Isbell sprints back into the gap on the warning track. Melendez is there. Varsho smartly went back to second and tagged up to third. But Melendez had to run a long way to get there. But get there he did. And now Clement with two runners in scoring position. And he's going to hit a routine fly ball to Melendez. And that should end the inning. And it does, though so Melendez thought there was only one out. He was ready to fire to third. Good first innings for four innings for Alec Marsh, who was allowed the leadoff man to reach once. Ooh, uh-oh, that hit Marsh. And still gets the out at first base. Oh, no. And he's hobbling and now throws his glove. Oh, and it got him solid, too. Yeah, on the forearm, right under the elbow. Fortunately, I thought it hit his fingers. Boy, he hit that hard, too. 91 off the bat. But that will end his night. So we will have a pitching change here in the top of the fifth as Marsh is forced to leave. Springer has grounded to short and doubled to left field tonight. And a high fly ball to center field. Hit pretty well. Isbell is back. He jumps and it is gone. Springer making sure of it as he rounds second, but he hit it out. George Springer gets the Blue Jays on the board with his third home run of the season and first since the opening series, a near 420-foot blast to make it 2-1 for the Royals. And now you got to deal with Bobby Witt Jr. with a couple of men on and nobody out. The Royals already leading 2-1. If Rodriguez records an out in this inning, that'll be a season-high four and a third innings. Base hit center field. The Royals get the run back. Isbell scores, and it's 3-1 KC. 11th RBI for Bobby Baseball. Well, and that's going to be it for Rodriguez. There's the call to the bullpen. There he goes, and Witt follows, and the throw down to third is not in time. It's a double steal for the Royals. Yeah, and the umpire is saying that early Clement's momentum pushed the base runner off the base, so he's not going to call him out. Now John has asked for a review. He had beat it by a mile. He slid right into the base. Did foot would have stayed on it. Was there a tag applied when the knee came off and the hand went on? After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The runner is safe. All right. And a bouncer weakly hit to second. Garcia won't risk it. Biggio throws him out. One down. Ground ball to Guerrero. He's coming home, and they'll get the force at the plate. This would be a heck of a job by Cabrera if he can strand these base runners. And the pitch. In the air to center. Dalton Varsho is there, circling underneath it, and he makes the catch, and that is a terrific job. So Varsho goes to third, Jansen at second, two in scoring position for Clement. 3 1 Royals, but a great opportunity here for the Blue Jays in the sixth. And a ground ball hit to short. This will get a run home. Clement is retired. Varsho crosses, it's 3 2. So should get home at a decent hour tomorrow night. Bobby Witt Jr. sends one to center and look at Dalton Varsho doing a pretty good Kevin Kiermeyer impersonation out there. Boy, what a play. Ground ball towards second. Biggio's got it and he'll apply a nice gentle tag on Sal Perez to end the inning. So here's James MacArthur who got the save in last night's game. Daniel Vogelback is going to lead it off. Look at that movement. He just paralyzed Vogel back, and he has no argument there. And the Royals' bullpen has set down the last 10 Blue Jays hitters. So now Turner will come off the bench for Clement. This one into shallow left, and it's down for a base hit. And the tying run is aboard for the Blue Jays here in the ninth. How about a big moment on what's already been a big day for Addison Barger? Bounced over the glove of MacArthur. They got to hurry to get Barger, and they just do. As Kiner Falefa takes second, now two down. So the tying run is at second. The Blue Jays are down to their last out, and the batter is Kevin Biggio, who is 0 for 3 tonight. Got him looking. And I tell you what, the Blue Jays just can't get anything going offensively. And the Royals have won back to back three two games against the Blue Jays.